Claude Van Damme, no? Yes, a famous uh, thinker, you know, who sometimes <laughs> make movies. He said exactly what right. his main motto, his recognized intellectual now on our national television, he says, be aware. So I see you have now listened to Van Damme. <laughs> you are now aware. Thanks to your coach. Tell Van Damme to have a coach, yes, philosophical coach. Okay, good. Yes, thank you. Yes. You become conscious of your own. You have, mm -hmm. the Greek said, Logan did an I. Logan did an I. Because you have to account for your for your to account for your words, for your thing, then you become conscious of what it means. And by the way, that's what argumentation is all about. Often people confuse with the rhetorical argumentation. I have to prove that I am right. But that's not our business. Our business, because I have to log on deny, I have to account for what I do, I become aware of what I'm saying. Yes. Strange experience, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Be aware, yes, yeah, Jean-Claude said. Okay. Okay. Any other comment? Yes? I, I also became aware that I... Okay, well, you know, I'm glad you've done this too. Let's go, yes? That I uh, didn't listen to uh, my coach. And you didn't I... listen to him? <laughs> Who is surprised? Raise your hand if you listen to his coach. <laughs> Who is not surprised? Raise your hand. Okay, so, so far we're with you. Okay, <laughs> I, think, I didn't see all the hands, so I was... Uh, it doesn't matter, we're just trying to create some atmosphere, yes? I didn't listen to my coach. I didn't listen to the philosopher. Uh, you listen to no one. Who's surprised, Raise your hand. And in, indeed, I didn't listen to my client as well. Yes, you listen. <laughs> so who's left? Who was left? Floris is with A and B. A and B doesn't listen to. Who's left? <laughs> That's pure arithmetics. Don't worry, no philosophy. Pure arithmetics. Who's left? We have this in France. I'll tell you. Pince me and pince moi are in a boat. You, you know this? You know? Pince me, pince moi means pinch me. Pitch me and pinch yacht. Pinch me and pinch yacht are in a boat. Pinch yacht falls in the water. Who's left? Me. No. Pinch Listen. me. Pinch me and pinch yacht are in a boat. Pinch yacht falls in the water. Who's left? No, the other one, pinch what? <laughs> it's okay, I think you've done it again first. We, we won't ask you for more. So you're supposed to say, pinch me, and the other one pinches you. You have know. yeah, this in Portugal? No, in Belgium? Yeah, it's in Belgium, but you're closer to us. <laughs> we have Spain separating us. We, and in fact, we, we share with Belgium another, because I, 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 of course, I'm sorry, I forgot. We appropriate the typical West Belgian, like Jacques Brel, we, we, we make it ours, but it's Jean-Claude Van Damme is Belgian, you know. It's French, maybe. Yes, <laughs> yes we, I, I, we have to apologize for a whole nation on this. Of anything, the rare things which are good in Belgium, we steal them, right? French fries. The French fries, Jean-Claude Van Damme and Jacques Brel, yeah, because what's left in Belgium after that? <laughs> Three things there: French fries, there's chocolate, and there's Marc Dutroux. Uh, that's okay, this one you can have. <laughs> <laughs> you don't we have to leave you something, so Marc Dutroux, we can leave you, yes? But we, we share, uh, as well, we have to show that we have uh, two brother countries. We share um, uh, another uh, famous, another, what's the other one? Uh, that yeah, was killing on both sides of the border. Fourniret. Fourniret. We share Fourniret. We have great. Fourniret was killing. Uh, once in, he was killing French people in Belgium and Belgian people in France. This guy was trying to do something, unite, yes, but the Flemish people were jealous because it only was in, in Wallonie that he was doing this. So that's created an internal problem to Belgium. But internal problem is a uh, Belgian national identity. That, that was okay. Yes, you know? Yes. Okay? All right. So I did my duty. Okay. Good. So, had you finished sharing with us your uh, personal thoughts? Yes, but nobody listened to you as you can imagine. No, that's normal. Okay. Okay. So, yes. Um, it's a comment. It's, what? Is a comment. 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 Yes. Um, there was a risk with this exercise. Which exercise? Yesterday with the client, philosopher, and coach. There was a risk. Yes. And you like risk, right? Okay. So can okay. I tell you what the risk? Yes. Go ahead. There's so much room for cheating. For cheating. Yes, for the client. You know, why do you look so happy when you say cheating? <laughs> yes, okay. Yes, yes. Do you like cheating? You prefer risk or cheating? Thank you. Okay. So, yes, and what was this cheating all about? 
Because the client, when you're up, you're alone with the philosopher, you you are not always conscious, not aware, <laughs> conscious about what you have said. When they become disgusting, say okay, probably they they are touching something, so let's play again and deviate from this to see if in another way I can find something else. So it's not... Um, so you have done this? Um, have you done this? Thank you. Okay, so what did you discover therefore? What's your identity? Now it has to wear. Therefore, what is your you discover as being your identity? That's easy, pure logic now. Elam is? Elam. Elam is Elam, yes? Nice, I, I see how you do it. Very nice. See? And that's, that's, I guess, uh, in French of another expression, faire feu de tout bois, which literally means mix uh, fire out of all woods. You have that? You make fire out of all woods. So I like philosophy makes fire out of all woods, means you can always burn something fire. We have another uh, expression which can be the equivalent to say, dans le cochon tout est bon. In the pig everything is good, because from the pig, for people in the pig culture, we eat everything from the horns to the, you know, to the tail, yes, so, uh, yes, is there a problem? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, poetry is not something that you are inclined to inspire. Oh, there was inspiration. So with everything, and in philosophy, same thing. Uh, en philosophie, tout est bon. Everything is useful. Thanks to this schizophrenic uh, philosopher you were dealing with, you discovered if you didn't know, you were a cheater. Yes? Were you happy? Yes. All right, good. So, any other comment? And that's, that's by the way, it's interesting. I hadn't thought about this. But this uh, fact that you hear this, you can so-called get prepared, you know, prepare your answer, ha ha, that's what they think this. But it means you redouble the activity, and I think that's interesting. Yes. I didn't thought about this. Yes, thank you. So, it's a gift. It's a gift. Yes, Michael. Uh, I didn't see very much a difference, but I saw it as very inspiring. For instance, I took my coach, I, as a, a, another self, kind of having a kind of introspection, yes. so that when you are counseling somebody, you don't just ask any question that comes out of your mouth immediately. It gives you room to go back to yourself, then consider alternatives in intra-dialogue uh, before you can now talk to the person. When you weigh what two options or three inside you, then you can know the one to ask the person. I think it's a guide to a philosopher. Yes, and in this case, I was I'm thinking of this idea of Plato that to think is an entering a dialogue with yourself, but generally, when you have a philosopher in front of you, you don't see this dialogue. But there, that's the point. You see this actual thinking. The actually uh, the other side of the of the question is taking place. What kind of uh, dialogue, internal dialogue, can take place because you have two people doing it, and that's a bit the idea. Because the internal dialogue, the dialogue between the coach and the philosopher, are what could or should be an internal dialogue of a philosopher. If he's not just thinking the first thing comes to his mind, he's internally debating: Do I go there? Or do I go there? I was thinking yesterday in a small introduction that uh, Minka and, and Ivan are, had are, there was, uh, you know, should we go on the content of what he was saying, when he was saying, I'm astonished, what was he, remember? I'm fascinated by uh, differences, you know, or whatever, should we go on the content of what he was saying, or should we go on the relationship to the content? For me, that's a very, a very typical, it's always a key issue in the, in the, in the, in the consultation. Uh, is or in the questioning, should I go to the ideas in themselves or to the uh, uh, relationship to these ideas, which has a lot to do with attitudes and as well with metacognitive uh, type of things. So then you will see this kind of debate, and that's a bit to do that, right? To invite, to invite you to, to reflect. So yes, thank you. Any other thing? Yes. Mark, 
gives me as a coach uh, a thinking body. A thinking what? Body. Body. Yes. He gave you a thinking body. Yes. So you have two stomachs now. <laughs> no, I have a thinking body. A thinking body. And, and to, to take it, it was very uh, strange for me, but I take it and I do it, and it was not exactly that I, um, I uh, the same question I, I did it, but there is something happening and the same words are coming from me, but there is something happening, so it's building up the thinking body. Okay. Mark, have you done this? <laughs> Thank you for the answer. I love this kind of discussion. I would have enjoyed seeing what happened. Uh, <laughs> that would have been very interesting. Okay. Thank you. But uh, yes. I love this. Okay. Anybody else had the strange experience? Yes. Yeah. Uh, becoming a case. Becoming a case. That's new for you to be a case. Yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, at some point, I saw that uh, so so it was so clear for me that I was a case. But... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The other expression in Portuguese to be a case that that uh, ring. Does it have a double meaning? No. Um caso, um conotação particular. No. 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 Okay. In, in English, we say, this guy's a real case, means, you know, <laughs> not, anyway, not in Portuguese. Okay, well, because you're serious people here. Okay, but go, you're a real case. Okay. I, was, I was listening to what they were talking about, about me as a case. And it was so clear at some point that I, that I was only a case, that I, 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 was, I wanted to, to give the suggestion to my case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I had to to, to 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 struggle with myself so I wouldn't speak because I had I, I wanted to do that. It was very strange. Yes. So you were happy to be a case? Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. So that's that's yes the idea. Somebody else wants to <coughs> yes? I can tell you from um, Norway and uh, this thing about discussing the case when the case is present. There is a one site called uh, Logist up in North, you know, Albus Linset is a friend of Helen and he has introduced uh, in the health sector something uh, which he calls reflecting teams. And then health workers are discussing the patient or the client when the client is present. Yes. And uh, that uh, affects the discussion because it de-objectifies uh, the client. Yes. So uh, this exploration is quite interesting. Yes. That's okay, interesting. Mm. Yes. Anything else? Yes? I th in the, in being the client, I thought it was very interesting because um, I sort of felt that at, in the beginning of the session, the, the two people I were working with wanted to um, put me in a particular place and so they they started um, whispering and then they switched whispering. to French. Oh really? Okay. And so they're all like really not even letting me have what their discussion was really conniving. What are we going to do now? How are we going to get her to see Yes. I have seen this. Were you with Jeanette and uh, <coughs> no? Because I saw it with uh, a couple of years you as well. So naturally, naturally, right? It was not to connive, but I said it's a natural thing. You don't speak about someone to his face, right? And naturally, we're going. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I it was really funny because I didn't think as a plot. I just saw it's so natural. You don't speak about someone to his face, you know. You just say. <laughs> You know, sort of, it was very remember? I said, no, it's, he has to understand what you what you're talking about. Yes, of course. That's funny, thank you. Yes. But that shows our uh, our uh, natural repulsion to to speak about someone, you know, in his in his presence, which is interesting way to, to reflect. Because for socially you don't do this, you know, you don't discuss about a person like this in front of the person. You do it 
very honestly when he's gone, you know. <laughs> but, but it's only because you don't want to hurt his feeling, of course. He, he comes out of a very good conscience that you don't tell a person what you think of him, you know. It's because you, you're very sensitive and a humane person. You know? That's what Nietzsche calls the big lie, the good conscience, yes, you know. I never hurt people. I say bad things about everybody, but never in their presence. I have principles, you know. Yes. <laughs> so, so, anything else? Yes, yes. Yes, uh, as, the, as the client, as the client, it was um, actually very, very interesting to have the people uh, work in front of you loud and clear and, 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 and uh, uh, expressing this strategy. It was very interesting to, to, to to be the, uh, the, the witness of that, because it's, yeah, very interesting. Why? It, um, the, how they think, how they see things, and, um, we're missing a predicate here, how they see things. Yes, is it not? It, yeah, it was interesting to see how the people see things, how they perceive something, and what. Uh, Tell us an insight about something really strange that you saw. Nothing strange. Oh. What's strange about that? No. It's not <laughs> strange. Sorry. Can I clarify? <coughs> I will. No, never clarify. It's a very bad principle. The same things you, you, you ask, uh, the same interest you have on this moment for what I say. That's, uh, you say, what does he say? What does that mean? What are they doing? How are they thinking? Is that what he was doing yesterday? When, when he was my coach? Yes. When I was the client. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot change it. Okay. Cecilia, now, do you understand what Jean-François is telling? Or, because now you're a professional, you're used to it. You understand what your coach is saying? I was a client. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes? Okay. Thank you very much for your contribution, Cecilia. Okay, anybody else wants to say something? Uh, but, by the way, I always have this idea, Big Joe's that uh, this seminar, if we experience the strangeness of uh, our own, uh, how do you say that, uh, our own English, uh, the people of your own species, human beings, and that, that's, uh, that's the thing. You know, so I always experience that strangeness, right? No, in that case, it was not strange. It was not strange. They were not strange. That's probably what was strange. They were not strange. They were not strange. Who is strange then? You say I'm strange, but they were not strange. Oh, okay. I was okay. speaking about myself. I was speaking about what I was seeing. They oh, were not okay. strange. Nothing was strange then. Or something was strange. It was not strange. It, it was, was not interesting. strange. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So strange, interesting is not strange. It can be strange. Oh, it can be strange as well. For sure. For sure. Okay. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Both. Yes. Yes, a little bit more. Yes. All right. Anybody else wants to say something? Yes, yes. Uh, I think it was interesting um, when we are um, when we are the coach uh, because we can help the others think in another way. And the others who? The others, the council. The, the, the philosopher, philosopher yeah. yes. And also, when we are the philosopher, I think for me it was good because I'm, uh, I'm used to impose my ideas and uh, Celia helps me to, to go in another direction. And as a, uh, and as a case, I think it helps me to, to forget about myself and to be aware of what is really my problems, maybe. <coughs> You like to know what your problem is. Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, not all the time. Anybody else? <coughs> all right. Yes. No problem. Just so, so Minky doesn't have a nervous breakdown. We're going to let her start. Yes. All right. All right. <coughs> uh, is there? You need the board? Yep. Uh, uh,